Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. It is time to get hands on with the Mech Size Master Shot Shell Reloading Press. That's right, this press is affordable, it's versatile, it's got a powerful collet sizing system, that's how it got its name. So it's great for that high hole brass and it's very, very versatile. In this video, we're gonna unbox this press, we're gonna mount it, and we're gonna load some 12 gauge shells. So let's get straight to it. Always love this moment, the moment when I first see the contents. Contents of a press kit. Okay, we've got our literature. A little bit of packing materials. Okay. Whoa, careful. Okay. And there's the press. Very nice. Looks like a little parts box and more packing materials. Okay. So, that looks pretty cool. Can't wait to get that loading. All right, here. Okay, priming tray, spent trimmer, primer tray, I suppose, some bushings and miscellaneous parts. That's that. Okay, and here we have our reservoirs for powder and shot. Cool. So let's see what is in the literature bag. Okay, as we would expect, we have the Size Master Owner's Manual. Okay. And then we've got Hodgson 2018 Basic Reloading Manual. Very good. Okay. Accessories, price list stuff. It's great. We actually have load data, it looks like, right here in the manual. So, give me a few minutes. I'm going to look through this. I'm going to unbox all of the little parts and pieces. We'll lay it out. We'll review what we've got. We'll mount it to the bench and we will get to loading. All right. So I've got everything laid out here. I've read the instructions. I am ready to mount the press. And this time I'm going to use a base plate from Precision Reloading. What's nice about this base plate is it's got this channel that goes all the way around the periphery of the unit. And that's a great way to catch extra shot, extra powder, that kind of thing easily wipe that out and setting it up is really easy so I'm gonna face the press towards myself here just slide it in we're gonna grab a 3 16 allen wrench or a driver like I've got here and all we need to do is give these allen screws a quick snug down and that means we are ready to go and if you had multiple presses say one in 20 gauge and one in 12 it would be really convenient actually to swap them out this way. Okay, so we've got the press mounted. I'm gonna take out the protective cap out of the sizing station. The priming components, we drop the spring in, drop the donut in, and then drop that into station number two. Now we've got the priming system. And there's a little wing nut on the back of the primer tray here, the primer tray tube slips down over the drop tube itself, and then there's a little stud that you line up with the bracket back here. Cool thing about the size master is it's got selective primer drop. So in the very last station, in the, the final crimp station, there is a linkage over here. I'll show you that linkage real quick. And when you do your finished crimp, it actuates the linkage, and the linkage pulls on this chain which we also need to connect to a little bracket right down here. And what we want is about four links on the back. That's perfect. Okay. So now when we're finished crimping, we're actuating the linkage and that's going to dispense a primer. So that's great because we only get primers when we need them. And that just helps us with kind of our, our workflow. So the last thing I need to do is install my powder bushing. This unit comes with three different 
powder brushings, 29, 32, and 30. And I calculated I need a 29 for the Hodgson International that I'm gonna be using for this loading. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and get my reservoirs on. Now I've covered this in detail. You're gonna to wanna to check out my MEC 600 Junior Mark V video if you want more detail on that. Otherwise, we'll just kinda of speed this up a little bit. I am up and running. I got my number 29 powder bushing installed. I installed the reservoirs. We've got Hodgson International in our powder hopper. We've got number seven and a half Magnum lead shot in our shot hopper. I loaded Winchester W209 primers really easy. You just put the primer pack on there, withdraw the cardboard, lift the plastic tray up and off and everything's ready to roll. I even loaded a few shells. And this is a super familiar process because I'm used to the MEX 600 Junior Mark V. Very equivalent process. I'm using AA holes here. We've got AA equivalent clay buster wads. We just take a hole, insert it in station number one. That collet sizer goes to work, D primes. Then we insert into station number two. You can feel that prime. There we go, nice and flush. Then in station number three, lower the rim, Drop our powder, the wad guide stays down, we slip a wad in, push the wad down, drop our shot. It's very efficient once you get the rhythm. Start the crimp and then finish the crimp. This machine was actually pre-adjusted to work just right with this selection of components. One more time. Sizing and depriming. Priming, we've got that primer there because of the selective priming system. We're gonna do our powder charge. Raise up the rim, put a wad in place, drop the wad, drop our shot, start the crimp, and then finish the crimp. Why don't you look from behind me so you can see this from a first-hand perspective. And we have the same process. Size and D-prime. Station number one, prime in station number two. Two different activities here in station number three. We're gonna drop the powder charge, insert a wad, ram the wad down, drop the shot. Two things to go, the start crimp and the finish crimp. One more time, size and D prime. Prime. Drop the powder charge, raise the rim, insert the wad, drop the wad, drop the shot, start the crimp, and finish the crimp. As you can see, it's a quick process once you get going. Really nice crimped shell. So there you go, kind of a complete tour of the Mech Size Master in 12 gauge. I will note that the Size Master is available in most other popular calibers for shotgun. And I like this press. I like this press because it's a pleasure to use. It represents a very solid value. And if you're tackling difficult sizing jobs like that high hole brass, like the name indicates, the Size Master, this press will tackle it absolutely no problem. Now, I also have an exciting announcement. I'm partnering with Precision Reloading and Mech to give away not just a Mech Size Master press, but a complete shot shell reloading equipment package not unlike what you see here. So make sure that you're subscribed to Gavin too because you don't wanna miss all of the giveaway announcements and any of the other content that I'm doing here related to shotgunning, gunsmithing, handguns, rifles, metalworking. We've got a lot of really cool stuff that we're talking about here. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.